For the past 12 years, my research has really been looking at the issue of Islamophobia and looking at the way in which it impacts upon the everyday experience of ordinary people in their day-to-day -day lives. And so what really I've been trying to do with that is to try and raise awareness of the issues so that we can try and tackle it in society, so that we can try and tackle discrimination. And by doing that, what we do is we bring about a greater sense of cohesion, people feel more integrated, people feel as though they belong, and we can move together in a much more positive way as a society. The best thing about teaching students is that you never know what's going to happen. New students come every year, they bring different ideas, they bring different challenges, they bring different questions. And so for someone who's doing research like myself, it's great because you feed off of that. They ask you questions that you've not asked before. And so you can take that away and then you can use that in your research and then you bring it back the next year so the students, so it's kind of like a cycle. And it's just great to have that energy, to have that kind of ongoing change, to just having people to contribute. And it's a great relationship between the two. Well, I've enjoyed being a part of the university for about 12 years now. Uh, I came here first as a master's student, uh, then I did my PhD, and now I work as a lecturer. And it's just been a great environment to work in. It's a great place where, to, where I've studied, but it's a great place also to take on the role of lecturer, to do research, to engage with students. And really, ever since coming here, it's a, it's a brilliant position in the country. There's huge diversity around you. The place is alive. The university campus is great. And we really are pushing forward with research. We really are breaking through some boundaries. And so it's just a really, really good place to be. Well, with my research, I really try and make sure that there's an impact for real people. And a couple of ways that I do that is, uh, so for example, last year, we ran an event called Faith in the City which looked at the way in which religion plays out in Birmingham. And we looked at the way it works in a multicultural space. And so that people could be engaged with that, what we did was we took the event out and we hosted it in a mosque in Birmingham. And it was really about sort of breaking down those kind of ivory towers so that people actually got to meet researchers, to meet social scientists, to meet the people that are actually dealing with social policy. And it was really good because we actually had the chance to talk to communities and communities had the chance to talk to us. And then on the other end of the scale, there's that other, the other side to the impact as well, in terms of working with government, with policy makers, with politicians. And as part of this, I'm part of the all-party parliamentary group on Islamophobia and on the cross-government working group on anti-Muslim hatred. And now what we're doing is we're feeding our research and the findings of our research straight into the decision-making process in Whitehall. And so what we see there is that our research is really making impacts both at the grassroots level, but also with the politicians as well. And that's really what we're trying to achieve.